Hello, my beautiful Pisceans. How are you? It is B, and we are here to go over your July and August of 2024. Let's see what the major arcanas have for, have for you or have in store for you. Okay, Pisces, my beautiful Pisces, my fellow Pisceans. I am a Pisces sun. I am a Pisces moon. What have we got? What's coming in for us, Pisces? Let's go ahead and pray over the deck. First card and second card. These are the major themes playing out for July and August. What do we got going on for July and August? For the source energies, what do we have? July and August source energies. Spirit, what do we have for July and August source energies? Cutting the deck. Bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands, uh, defending yourself, um, not getting distracted, not allowing people, you know, a lot of times, Pisces, people ask you to do things for them. They ask you to, Pisces, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And Pisces is finally saying, no, I can't do that. I can't. I'm, my plate is full. And I'm already letting people know that what I will and I will not do. But let's see what's going on with the source energies. Sorry about that, Pisces. It's very humid here, so the uh, cards are sticking a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and let's get your advice, Pisces. And I will clarify if I need to clarify, I promise. Pisces. Pisces, I'm hearing for some of you, if you did have an addiction, you are really cutting down on that addiction. It could be addicted to certain thoughts. It could be addicted to alcohol, cigarettes, food, uh, laziness, whatever your addiction is, you're, you're getting out of it now. Okay. There is your advice. What is your crystal ally? What is your crystal ally, Pisces? What is your advice here? There it is. And what is your love energy, Pisces? Pisces love. Love at the bottom of the deck. Good, Pisces. Good for you. You are getting love. The love that you deserve, Pisces. Good for you. Good for you. First card, second card. All right, Pisces, what is your major, what are your major themes for July and August? First card out, strength. Some of you Pisces are working on your physique. You're working on your physical strength. You are working out again. 
you've decided, you know what, I don't want to be a couch potato anymore. For some of you, not all of you, but I don't want to be a couch potato anymore. I, I got to get back into it. I got to get back into my workouts. I got to get back into getting things done. Uh, some of you Pisces are going to be going to the dentist as well for some of you, not all of you, or a, uh, a physical exam. For others of you Pisces, a Leo could be uh, a big impact or having a big impact on you. Uh, for some of you Pisces, you may have been in a situation where you've wanted answers. Okay, you want to know where you stand. You want to know that things are taken care of. But I'm feeling for many of you Pisces, you're realizing maybe now is not the time. Now is not the time to bring that up. Or someone else is saying now is not the time to bring that up. They want you to be quiet about something. Don't share this with anyone. Or you could be saying that to someone else. Please don't share this with anyone. You could be taming your inner beast as well. So, you know, Pisces, sometimes when Pisces are wronged, they can be very much like a piranha. They can go from a goldfish to a piranha very quickly. Very quickly. But now is not the time. Not in July and August. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. But you have a lot of internal strength and you've got a lot of external strength and you're able to do what it is that needs to be done in order to keep things moving forward. You've got fortitude here. What is the next card? Judgment. So an announcement, a, a judgment has been passed. Some of you might be dealing with legal or law, but there's also redemption associated with this energy. You could be going through, because of the strength being out first, you could be going through a re-evaluation of how you handle things. Or being woken up from your stupor. Like, you know, sometimes Pisces just go with the flow and, you know, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. But then something happens and Pisces are like, why'd that happen? What's going on here? What's happening? What's the 411? You may be announcing something, Pisces. There could be karma here. There could be judgment. Let's see why strength is here, Pisces. The wheel of the year. Things are moving forward, Pisces. Things are moving forward. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to have fortitude. You're going to have to buck up, buttercup. Whether you like it or not, things are moving forward. What have you created up to this point? What type of energy have you been putting out there? Some of you have done a course correction with your energy. And that's why things are now moving forward. Knight of Cups. Yeah, you, you got a love offer coming in, Pisces. You got a love offer coming in. Now, if you're already in a committed and loyal bond, you're probably going to have to be strong and and guide whoever this person is to, to say, okay, um, I'm in a committed and loyal bond right now, so thank you for the offer, but that's not the direction I'm going right now. 
but you may finally be moving forward, giving somebody some loving signals and some loving energy and some uh, positive reinforcement. And they're just eating it up. They're eating it up right now. They love it. And this is helping for things to move forward. This is helping things to move forward. Next card. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone may have been on the fence. Someone may have been, do I give Pisces my energy? Do I not give Pisces my energy? Do I, do I show Pisces value? Do I not show Pisces value? It's coming. It's been in like a holding pattern, something about a holding pattern coming through here. Could be with work as well. Money that is due to you. You're finally starting to see the fruits of your labor. So the money is coming in. Why is judgment here? The Empress. Mother energy, your own Empress energy. This could be you, Pisces, because it does represent Pisces, Gemini, Aries, Libra, Taurus, a Venus and Libra, a Venus and Taurus. I think for a lot of you, Pisces, you're showing your empress energy to someone and it's causing them to wake up very, very quickly. There could be a pregnancy, Pisces. There could be a pregnancy here. Or a mother figure might be asking you a lot of questions. When is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? You're showing people your abundance. You're showing people what you're made of. You're showing people that you are the empress. But like I said, there could be some sort of an announcement about a mother figure that's coming through in July and August. What is the next card? Oh my gosh, the emperor. Okay, Pisces, looks like we have a couple here. You could be the empress, you could be the emperor, they could be the empress, they could be the emperor, whatever it is. We have a match. We have a match. Someone is seeing you as either the empress or the emperor. There's an announcement about this. And there are children here. So again, Pisces, there could be you having children, um, a niece or a nephew having children, your children having children, whatever it is. There is some sort of energy here where there is a combination or there is some sort of understanding See, with the Seven of Wands here, I'm seeing someone defend their divine union. They're defending their divine union. The Emperor is defending you. The Empress is defending you. Whatever it is, there is a divine union here. In Pisces, I'm going to tell you, like, if you're engaged to somebody, married to somebody, dating somebody, whatever, it's going to be announced to everyone that this is my divine counterpart. An announcement might be coming through about an empress and an emperor.
there's an announcement coming out I'm telling you the world, the completion of a phase. The world. Keeping negative energies at bay. Very similar to the Seven of Wands. Not allowing anyone to distract you from your divine union. You're making it clear. Boundaries up. I'm standing my ground. You may have someone that wants to travel the world with you. And they're announcing that. They're like, you know, hey, Pisces. Uh, I know I've been saying for a while that, you know, we need to travel the world. And, and I want to do that with you. So, you know, when, when can that happen? When can we get that going? I want to take you here. I want to take you there. I want to take you here. I want to take you there. And I think a lot of this, Pisces, is because you may have been defensive in the past about this and, and or maybe you're defensive about something now, but you're, you're letting it go. You're giving it to God. You're, you're you know. Jesus, take the wheel. I've been mentioning that quite a bit. And you've been very strong. Very stable. A lot of fortitude here. And now someone is seeing your worth? What is the advice? You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. No matter what is going on around you, Pisces, no matter, no matter, no matter what it is, keep moving forward. The only reason that inner beast wants to come out and play is because it wants to keep you stuck in a situation wants to keep you stuck in your negative energy. It wants to keep you stuck in defensiveness. You're letting that go. The wheel is turning. What is your crystal ally advice? Dreams. Listen to your dreams. Follow your dreams. Do what needs to be done. You don't have to let anybody know about your dreams, but you can move forward on your dreams now. Everything's set up. Everything's great. Everything's fine. Once you stop this defensive nature, everything's going to start turning in your favor. Let it go. What's your love energy? Motives. Yeah. You may have ulterior motives. Someone else may have ulterior motives in this relationship. It may be because someone does not want to face judgment or karma. You're going to know. You're going to know. But this could simply mean that the reason this emperor and this empress are coming together is because of other factors that may be a little bit different than yours. There are motives associated with this. What is the next card? Engagement. I told you, Pisces. I told you. Someone wants to 
be married to you or engaged to you in order to complete some sort of cycle in their life so they don't have to face judgment. Hmm. And it's not like they're being, deceptive really it's more about someone knows they have to move forward with this but it may not be for the reasons that you think they're moving forward with it on hmm What is this judgment all about? What is this judgment all about? Hmm. This is about a king of wands, a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Third deck in Scorpio. Going from choppy waters to calmer waters in order to entertain, enjoy, get their wishes granted. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah. Okay, Pisces, this is what happened. Someone does want a partnership with you. That's no lie. But the seven of wands and keeping negative forces or toxic energies at bay had to deal with them jumping into a social group that was very, very toxic. And now they are working very, very hard to get out of it. You know, Pisces, what I'm seeing here is that maybe you warned somebody or maybe you had to be very strong in the face of adversity while someone was going through some sort of karmic cycle. And it's like now they realize they were in a karmic cycle. They realize that they were lazy. They realize that they didn't put the boundaries up when they should have. They realize that they had to get out of a very sticky situation in order to get to their nine of cups, which is you. They have to finalize this thing. Because of everything going on outside of them. And, and Pisces, I know you, you want to be in a relationship with a significant other because they love you. And they want to give love to you. And you want to give love to them. But it's not just that. Not this time. Is there love here? I think there, I think there is love here. I do, especially with the Page of Cups here. I think there's love here. But I think someone is facing so much karma right now that they need a safe space to go. And you're that safe space. Because they're facing a lot of judgment. They're facing a lot of karma. I don't know, Pisces. You let me know what's going on here, but that's what I got for you. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.